Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another one. Back out here at Harbor Island with my buddy James. Hey. We are going to be fishing for sharks and rays and hopefully bass or whatever is biting, but we're going to be chucking um, fresh mac that we caught the other day, maybe some squid. Hopefully Aaron comes through with some squid because I forgot mine's at home. <laughs> but yeah, we're out here at Harbor Island right now. It is Saturday morning. It's pretty chilly, but for damn sure it's going to heat up. It's going to be around like, what, 80? Yeah. 85. It's going to be pretty damn hot because this past week has been extremely hot. But yeah, we wanted to come back out here and tug on some more giant rays or whatever's feeding down there. Last week, the pelagic ray I caught was around like 30 to 50 pounds between there. I didn't scale it or anything, but it was pretty hefty. So I kind of want another one. Bat ray, shark, or any anything big at all because... The tug is a drug, right? So I'm gonna get off this camera. I'm gonna slap you guys on my chest, get everything set up. We got both our coolers out here and hopefully stick a monster. So you guys stay tuned, all right, let's go. Yeah, we're out here right now. It's pretty windy. We are fishing the incoming tide. Um, Aaron's still not here yet, he's late. We need that squid, but we do got fresh mac. Uh, James has finished rigging up. I'm gonna rig up. I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna rig them both up the same way, but one with a slip bobber. I don't know if you guys seen my other videos of oh, baiting and waiting. What I'm, I'll just go usually just do straight braid. That's uh, that's how I fish it. Um, some people don't, some people do, but me, I fish straight braid. This is the Abu Garcia Revo Salty Stage. If you guys are familiar with the Revo NACL. 50 and 60 well this is the japanese or the swedish version they discontinued this reel in the states but i have both of them this is what i will be using and the rod i got it paired with is a major craft ms1 this is a seven foot medium heavy loads are pretty well there's no ratings on the rod because it is a prototype and uh it held up pretty good last week so i brought it out again give it a shot get some more big old fish on it you guys do baiting and waiting you guys let me know what your favorite rig is what do you guys rig for what for bat rays for sharks etc comment below let me know i'll give it a shot out here but as far as i know right now what i've been doing is just um an egg sinker about a three or four ounce egg sinker and a decent circle hook that's how i've been rigging it so the circle hook i'll be using is the gamagatsu octopus circle why not and just your standard three ounce egg sinker. Bam, right there, bullet weight. That's the weight I'm throwing, just just like that. <laughs> nothing, there's nothing special about this rig. All I know is that it works. And uh, if Tony, if you're watching this, he's a believer, a firm believer of this rig now. I, I don't know what to call this rig. I'm gonna just call it the slider rig. Not not even a slider rig, just a bottom rig. What, what would you call it? Egg sinker and a hook. Bottom rig. Bottom rig, right? It's not a dropper loop, I'll tell you guys that. And a knot I use, obviously, Palomar knot. Straight braid, this is, um, I believe this is 40 pound or 30 pound braid, I forget. I spooled this up a long time ago and I finally started taking it out like a couple weeks back. <laughs> bottom rig. So, bait sits at the bottom, weight moves around, well, weight pins the line down, and the bait, I don't know what the hell the bait does down there, but there you go. One knot circle hook and a three ounce egg sinker. I'm gonna wet this line while he cuts up the bait. Here's the thing, you guys always wanna wet your line if you're playing to fish like this or a big reel because you get that backlash on dry line. Good luck. Game over. It hurts. <laughs> All right, let me get this up. You cut him already? Yeah. All right, here we go. Nice chunk of mackerel. Always hook it through the skin. I always go through the top of the bait of the actual skin and use the spine as a support, just in case. Let's bomb this sucker out there. Like that, let this thing to the bottom and we wait. This uh, combo will have that rig on and my next combo is probably gonna have uh, maybe a slider rig or whatever it is, I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see, so I'm gonna slap you guys on my chest and we'll take it from there, all right? So you guys stay tuned. Yeah, the floaty rig. 
It's just to ID to get the line when we were fighting the fish up close, man. Cause remember when we hooked up on that big ray, the last one last week, it was hard to see the line, right? Which way it was going. So that's why I'm doing the floater rig. I'm gonna be busting out my 10 foot medium shore jigging rod. If you guys are wondering what this is, this is a two piece rod, you guys check that out right here. I got the Daiwa Saltis 3000 mounted to this sucker right here, 30 pound test. This is my actual surf combo right here. But if you guys are wondering what this piece is right here that holds the two piece together, check that out. This is the Blightning rod holder right here. It comes in different sizes for smaller rods and bigger rods, even trolling rods. So yeah, this is what I've been using for all my two piece rods. Pretty dope, you just take it apart, unclip them, and bam, and just like that. Bam, right there. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a slider rig on this guy. Sliding? Yeah. All right, so back to it. Hey, your rod, your rod, your rod, your rod. Go, just take the whole thing out. Take the whole thing out. Shut the hook. Go, your rod. Fight it, fight it. Take your time. <laughs> Let me know if you need me to reel up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's going left. He's going left. He's going left. Hey, can you reel that one up? Yeah, oh, boy. Are you over or under? Go, go. Go that way. Go over that rod. Dang, first runner up. <laughs> oh, that's a ray, bro. What do you have on there? What? The piece of Mac? Sardine. <laughs> Sardine. <laughs> yeah, I'll watch him. Here, give me the net. <laughs> Dang, he's fooling you. <laughs> Man, he is taking you out, bro. I can't stop it, man. How many pounds test you got in the end? The straight? <laughs> Look at this shit. Dang, it's, <laughs> it's game over, bro. He's taking him home. Yeah, go, go, go. Gain as much as you can, as much as you can. Walk this way. Walk this way in real. Walk this way in real. Gain up as much line as you can. <laughs> Dang, you this makes up for last week, bro. You better land this guy. I think it's a good bat ray. Did it feel like a bat ray? Yeah. Yeah, keep keep cranking, keep cranking. Oh, oh there you go. He woke up. Oh, this is gonna be a good battle right here. <laughs> this is what we came out here for, bro. <laughs> Get that tug on. Oh. Came off? Oh, yeah. For real? No! Watch out for the jogger. Damn! Broke off? Yeah, popped off. On Damn! I was just freaking gaining on him too. I know. Snapped off. Lost it! Tony, Tony, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. oh, shoot. On the sardine. <laughs> Double up, bro. Unless, unless I'm on you too. No, you're not pulling, right? Get the net. You're on my line, that's why. No, I'm on a different one. <laughs> hey, when you land him, keep him in the water until I bring this guy up. Oh, double up, bro, hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. Hey, Diggy, you're gonna break off. I know, he's on the rocks, that's why. I'm gonna let him swim away a little bit. No, he's not gonna swim away, bro. You're gonna get tangled up. Keep tension. All right, turn his head to the right, to the right, to the right. There you go. Yeah, boy. Ah, oh, came off. Lost everything. Did you? Yeah. Damn, dude, that was on a sardine booty. There you go. What, a little 10 pounds? He has so much parasites on him, bro. Damn. Dope. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good shit, bro. Good shit. Damn, only we landed both of them, bro. Double up on rays? What? Oh, go get it, bro, get it. Oh, he's off. See, he's too slow. You have a circle hook on? Yeah. Don't set it, just reel into it. See, told you. I told you reel right into it. I told you reel right into it, you got him. Uh, that's the one you cast it over my line? Yeah. So technically it's my fish. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I see that seagull trying to creep up on our bait. Like, watch that seagull. Barry? I saw him jet it off. Ugh. Yeah, I see him. Little guy. Turn his head. Oh, <laughs> All right, buddy. Get in the net. <laughs> <laughs> Little baby. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, the, the sun's not out, so the cement's yeah. fine. Yeah, look at it. Check that out. Uh oh. I need you to reel them up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need you to reel them up. No net anytime soon, you're over me. <laughs> he surfaced like three times, huh? Yeah. He's angry. Nice. <laughs> well, yeah, I would be too. What about a giant hook in my face? I still got like 200 yards out there, dude. Really? I got background music? Here he goes. I did nothing to say right now. I can't, I, I'm not gonna talk. If I keep talking, I'm gonna lose focus until he gets up, until I see what it really is, then, then I'll explain. But as of right now, all I can do is just wait for him to take off again because he's suctioned up. It's on a slider rig. Right when I slapped on the four ounce, let it sit at the bottom. He's gonna wake up again soon. He just dead weight right now. I ain't trying to, I'm not gonna try to break him off. <laughs> He's hooked good. He's not coming off. I forgot what beta, I, I think I have the sardine on this one. There he is, there he is. There he is. There he goes, there he goes. Look at that line. That thing's crazy. He's way out there. The 10 foot bend, bro. <laughs> I don't think this is a bat ray, dude. He's going this oh shit. This doesn't feel like a bat ray. I think so. 
The way he ran. Uh, yeah. Well, on the wing, <laughs> not on the hook. Could be a butterfly ray. It didn't feel like a bat ray at all. Could be a monster bat ray. Oh, whoa, a lobster. <laughs> there he goes. Because <laughs> if I keep moving left and right, it's going to rip that hole bigger in his mouth. Yeah. Then it's going to pop right off. There he goes. Oh, it is. It's a, it's a decent ray. Dude, there's two of them. It's a good 40 pounder. Yeah, I saw him. He came up. Oh, sick how he dived. He came up and he went right back down. Showed me his ass and everything. Yep, he gave me a sneak peek of what he could do. I was hoping for a shark. Holy shit. He got at least one more run in him, so be careful. Right when you net him, scoop him up. It's a bat ray. I'm on mono too. Oh, he sucked up, huh? Damn it. Get up. Wake up. Yeah, he like, they like to hug the floor. I'm trying to. Got him. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I'll come down. Come down and help you out. Is it? <laughs> My bad. You're good. Got it? The proper way to land them, I guess. Sun's not out, so concrete's good still. Damn! <laughs> There's all those parasites on there, dude. See all that? Let's get the hook out. Dude, look. Let's get the poop out of him, huh? How do you know if it's a girl or a boy? Uh, the, the girl, their back is more dark and black. Oh. And she's like 10 times bigger than this. Oh, oh, so that's a boy? Yeah, that's a male. Wow. <laughs> First good one of the day, finally, right there. Got him on the sardine. I think it was sardine. All right, let's get him back in the net. Get a release on this girl. Dude, it's like slime. Oh man, finally. <laughs> Are you ready? We're gonna get the release on her and uh, I'll get back to you guys real quick on what gear I use. quick since my rods out there I want to show you guys what I was using right here is the Daiwa Saltis 3000 completely mag sealed with I believe this was 30 pound J braid right there there's a x8 when you get this reel it doesn't come with these knobs this is actually ZPI knobs right here I wasn't really a big fan of their big T knobs it's all rubberized so I went with the EVA knobs and rod wise I was using the major craft Sopara check that out right there it is a 10 foot medium rod. See if you can see the ratings, but it is rated all the way from 15 gram to 42 gram, eight to 20 pound line. So yep, 10 foot two piece. The rig I was using obviously is a slider rig. I'll show you guys what I'm using real quick. Are you on? Oh damn. Well, be right back. Check this out. Nope, okay, never mind. I'm back. <laughs> all right, so the rig I was using was a slider rig. I already showed you guys the combo. I was using the Daiwa Saltis 3000 on a 10 foot Solpara, Major Craft Solpara medium shore jigging, light jigging rod. So um, let me show you guys how I rigged that up or what I used to rig it up. I used one of these sliders right here on my main line. 
Oh, he caught, a, he caught a stingray. One of these sliders right here. You can find these online or your local tackle shop. You can use whatever sliders you want to use, but I use this guy. These sliders right here. I use them on the main line. For leader line, I use trilene. This is 30 pound. Yep, 30 pound trilene monofilament right there. And hook. Hook varies on you guys. I use sometimes the owner's circle hook, the Mewtwo circle hooks, or the Gamakatsu octopus circle hooks. The Gamakatsu octopus circle hooks. That's what I meant. I either use one, one odd, two, or two odd. That's it. I don't use anything bigger than that because I just don't. And for, and obviously you guys need some beads and any kind of swivel, barrel swivel. You can get it from Walmart, anything like that size, two, three, or four swivel will work just fine. And uh, for the weight, I was throwing the four ounce torpedo weight with a steel leader on that snap. Find these steel leaders online or metal leaders, any length. I use whatever length I grab first, but I clip this on the main line, this onto the clip and then the weight onto the end of this so i think i showed you guys this rig in some of my other videos but that's just a quick breakdown so once i reel that guy up i'll show you guys again <laughs> 